Okay, I want to give you an overview of a free tool that you can use on the web called Adobe Spark. And it is spark.adobe.com. And this free tool will allow you to create videos, graphics, even simple uh, web pages or landing pages, um, all free of charge. And I should say there is a free version, but there's also a paid version if you want to get rid of the logo. Uh, but one of the reasons that I like to use Adobe Spark or have this kind of in the arsenal is because it's a really quick way that's um, a little bit easier to use than say like maybe iMovie but it's a really quick way to um, be able to turn uh, pictures into video so if you've got images or things like that um, that you want to maybe spice up a little bit or you know turn into a video of some kind this is an easy way to do it um, and I'm only going to show you this one thing because there's a lot of other things you can do with it uh, so let's just get going here. Um, you go in, you will create an account. Um, I've already got an account that I just started. And so we'll do this. And once you get in here, you're going to see um, a big blue plus sign in the middle. And again, I'm on desktop. I do know that there is an Adobe Spark, um, or I should say Spark Adobe, I guess is what it's called on the App Store, uh, but you can also download this on mobile. Again, apologies for not showing you the mobile uh, versions. I'm showing you the, the desktop uh, version, but um, I assume that the functions are somewhat similar uh, with these basic functions because I'm not going to do anything really crazy here. But once you hit the plus button, you will be able to then um, determine whether or not you're going to do graphics, web pages, or videos. And they, they have templates here that are awesome and you can use those I would recommend you know seeing what some of them are and things like that uh, when it comes to videos what the templates are basically it helps you tell a story so they will give you like prompts in terms of like what each uh, actual slide would be which is kind of cool but um, for today I don't want to get into uh, too much because this is a new tool that you do not have to use for today uh, but I did want to introduce this, you know, as a possibility for something that you might consider in your, you know, technology uh, arsenal. So what we're going to do is we're going to create just a one slide uh, video from an image. And so we're going to do start from scratch and we're going to do video. And then we'll just call this... Um, next and then here's where I mentioned that it gives you um, different slides that you can actually do but I'm going to scroll through those and we're going to go to make up my own I could also click start from scratch and then it will come up with a template that literally just allows you to start adding in your media uh, but let me give you a quick idea. Let me shrink the screen here a little bit so you can see a little bit more. There we go. So here we've got the actual dashboard, or I should say the desktop. Um, and this is where you're going to be dragging your videos or text or photos. You can even um, do icons and things like that. And on this free version, as I mentioned, this little Adobe Spark uh, stamp will be there. Um, I forget. I think it's like maybe 10 bucks a month. Might be less than that, but um, if you wanted to be able to remove that actual logo and the splash screen down here. So basically, as you can see, you've got one image or one little uh, canvas here, and then you've got one with the credits, and then you've got one that will have made with Adobe Spark. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a photo. And when you do that, you'll see over here on the right, you have several options. Um, what I would recommend if you do use this tool, and again, I'm all about being able to tell your story, uh, but you can also use something pretty just cool and, and abstract if you want to. But, you know, if you've got a cool image or something that you can uh, use, you know, go ahead and click on upload photo and upload your own photo. But if you are just looking for some, some coolness or you're looking for whatever, you can also use some stock photo here as well. Um, the other thing, too, to mention is that it does connect, it can connect to Dropbox, your Google Photos, and Google Drive. And then Lightroom is an editor, Creative Cloud, you've got some other apps that you have access to. 
and then Adobe Stock does have its own stock photos, but then Find Free Photos, um, I believe this is going to be with uh, Unsplash or Pexels, I'm not sure. But for example, I just wanted to do music. It'll give me several uh, backgrounds that are related to music, and I'm just going to click this little thing here, um, and then you can then add, uh, you can zoom in, zoom out, keep it full screen. Uh, you can change the time, and I'm going to change this to 10 seconds, only because I know right up front that uh, this credits screen and the splash screen are going to take up a couple seconds. So I want it to be about 15 seconds um, of that. And then I'm going to add text. And again, you don't have to use this for today, but if you do, um, all I want you to be able to do today is just to uh, share a thank you message with your fan base. Um, so it can be sharing, or it could be thanking a specific fan, or it could be thanking your fan base in general, or what have you. Um, you can use this as an opportunity to maybe put a quote in here um, that has something to do with gratitude or whatever if you want, uh, but you know, you don't have to, um, but you could just say, you know, Thank you for your support, or something like that. I don't know. That's kind of generic, so if you want to come up with something more cool. Um, and then, actually, what I did want to show you as well, uh, up here, you've got layout, theme, resize, and music. <clears throat> so layout is going to change the way that the screen appears. So right now, it's full screen. You can do half and half. You can change sides, so you can you know, make this be another picture. You can do this and have this as a caption. Uh, you can have the two lines of text there if you want. So those are your layout options. I'm going to keep mine full screen for now. Theme is basically then going to change. Um, yeah, if you didn't have a picture in there, you could literally just do it with the um, actual background color. But um, when you change the theme, it's going to change the font. And if there are any actual um, animations with it, you can see here if it does any animations. That does not. I know one of them does. Let's see here. I think there's a so yeah, there's a little bit of a, a zoom in effect there. Um, but yeah, if you change the theme, um, it will kind of show you a little bit about uh, what's going on with the um, actual text and things like that. So you can play it from here just to see if it does anything, if you want it to move or whatever. Uh, but then resize, you can go widescreen, or you can do square. So you've got your Facebook um, option, and actually for Twitter as well, and then you've got your square if you want to post this on Instagram. Okay. And then lastly, if you do want to add maybe some of your music to it, you can do that. Uh, but then you've also got some uh, different selections down here that you can choose. They're just kind of like mood music. They're not like the um, most dynamic, <laughs> dynamically created uh, musical uh, music that you've ever heard. But um, you can just do that. So let me go back here. You can also click on this button and do a voiceover if you want. So you can just basically say, hey, I just want to thank you guys so much for blah, blah, blah. Uh, so you can do that. Now, I'm going to press, press this, and it's going to play it from the beginning. So now you can see the whole thing put together. And right now it's 14 seconds. And there's really no reason for me to have quotes on there, but that's what I did. And then it says who that actual picture was giving credit to. And then that's it. Okay? So play around with that, and then you can download that or share it. Uh, so play around with Adobe Spark if you'd like. Again, you do not have to use this for today, but uh, the task for today is going to be specifically about um, sending a thank you message to your, uh, your fans. Or, again, if you want to actually specifically you know, call someone out, you know, like you do a series of thank yous, so you could you know, say, hey, today we want to thank um, you know, 
Mindy and, you know, Jesse for always coming to our shows. Thank you guys, you know, hashtag thank you Saturday or whatever. And then that way you could actually draw that out um, over the course of, you know, however long. Actually, you could just do something like that, create a series and just say thank you. Um, if people are going out of their way or buying your music or coming to shows or commenting on your posts, whatever it is, as long as it's sincere, um, an attitude of gratitude um, is not just, you know, just a good good way to be a good human, uh, but other people see that and that's the kind of stuff, that's the kind of energy that draws people to um, your actual brand and your band and all of that. So, okay, that is to today's tool. Um, and again, feel free to use any tool that you want to create your thank you message. But other than that, you guys have an awesome day and I will talk to you soon.